You definitely belong to the cool club if you love cars, but not just ordinary cars with everyday looks. We all want regular cars and bikes to look different and have some unique looks than regular ones. Obviously, we want that modification done by the right hands. Fast and Loud star Aaron Kaufman would fit in more than anyone else. Yes, we are talking about the talented self-taught mechanic with incredible, unique skills and styles, who is also the owner of Arclight Fabrication and the former lead mechanic of Gas Monkey Garage. Are you curious to know more about his whereabouts? Continue watching. First, let's know if Aaron Kaufman is a real grease mech? Although much of his private life is clouded in secrecy, every fan of Fast and Loud knows who Aaron Kaufman is. But, too many fans are curious to know if Aaron is a provisionally trained mech. Well, Kaufman is a self-motivated and self-taught mechanic born in Crowley, Texas, on January 26, 1982. As a kid, he was always into making things apart and reassembling them. For those who don't know, just at the age of 16, Aaron modified his first vehicle, a Jeep Cherokee. While Aaron Kaufman is best known for his appearance in the much-loved reality show, Fast and Loud, let's get to know his ride to the show. Kaufman's Ride to Fast and Loud After fixing stuffs for his family and friends, he got employed at places like Pep Boys and other small servos. One day when Aaron was working on one of the garages, he caught the eyes of Richard Rawlings. Yep. Kaufman was noticed for his amazing skills by Rawling, the proprietor of Gas Monkey Garage, as well as both the Gas Monkey Bar and Grill and Gas Monkey Live Music venues in Dallas. For those who don't know, Gas Monkey Garage existed prior to the filming of Fast and Loud, and Kaufman was hired before the show premiered on June 6, 2012. While Aaron was on the show, Richard and Aaron find the hot rod of their dreams, a rust-free 1931 Model A which premiered on the first episode of Fast and Loud. And as renovation costs pile up, Richard looks to make some fast cash with a couple of quick wins. Aaron was loved by the audience for his amazing skills and styles from the beginning of the show. Not to mention, fans adored his cool personality, and obviously his thick mane beard. But, what happened to Kaufman, that he had to leave the show after 14 years of partnership? Well, after working for almost 14 years in Monkey Garage, Kaufman surprisingly said that he will be leaving the garage back on February 2017. And, if you don't know what the reason is, then let us reveal it to you all. In a highlighted episode of Fast and Loud, published by DMAX UK, Aaron says it all. Sending a little bit further. What? I had some, I had some time off, and I, uh, I think I've got some, some other things, some other cats I want to skin, some other things I want to get into. Well, I mean, what does extended vacation mean? To quote Stevie Nicks, I think I have to go my own way. So, for those who are still wondering what the reason is, Richard in an interview with Fast R reveals everything. In the interview, he revealed that the projects were all going in a rush, and the work had to be completed under intense deadlines, which put a lot of pressure on him. Do you think this really is the whole reason? Comment below in comments section what you think about it. So after his farewell of Kaufman in the show, are Kaufman and Rawlings still friends? Even though Kaufman and Rawlings had creative differences till the end of filming together, Kaufman made it very clear that he did not have any personal issues with Rawlings. So with this, the two of them are still reported to be friends to this day. On his last appearance in Fast and Loud, Aaron made it clear that he had different creative visions, and he also said that he wanted to work for different cars, but in Monkey Garage, he had to work for cars that were not of his interest, as he wanted to work on bigger cars, and the internet wanted to see something else, which were not much of Kaufman's interest. He also said that the intense deadlines put him under pressure. Did he have other career plans, if he was working for cars that were not his interests? Let us answer that too for you all. Aaron's actual dream job. We've all talked about Kaufman's love of cars since he was a kid. On the other hand, Kaufman also had a deep affection for wildlife and nature so much that he had actually looked forward to becoming a park ranger. As becoming a mechanic was not in his mind, he could only imagine driving a truck on the off-road terrains in the wild kingdom. But, passion changed everything. Do you think he would fit in that job? If not, what do you think he should have worked for? Do you know about the awesome modification errand made in the 1963 Ford Falcon during season 4 of Fast and Loud? So for the curious ones, where's the car now?
Many fans will instantly recognize the custom 1963 Ford Falcon race car, as it was the same car Kaufman used to race in Pikes Peak 2016. Well for those who don't know, back in 2017, Aaron listed the car for sale on eBay and sold it to a lucky buyer for $65,000. The car was also fully custom made with a 363 CI Ford Boss V8, producing over 500 horsepower under the hood. So after doing all this, what is Kaufman doing today? After leaving Gas Monkey Garage, he started his own show called Shifting Gears with Aaron Kaufman, which was rated 5.3 by 10 on IMDb with mediocre reviews. Shifting Gears first aired in 2018 and was supposed to have at least three seasons, but only had two. He worked for bigger trucks and cars, which were too big for the Gas Monkey Garage and people knew that. This was the part where Kaufman wanted to be in. He also focused on his favorite Ford F100 pickups and opened a business called Arclight Fabrication. For the unknowns, Arclight Fabrication specializes in parts for his favorite Ford F100s, which are hard to find on the market, because many of the models such as the 57 are no longer in. Market and Arclight Fabrication specializes in parts for the models from 57 to 79. Well, after the show ended, Kaufman made a small show called Aaron Needs a Job, and the show was based on Aaron doing things he had no experience with. In the show, he fixed tramp cars, worked in cargo ships and many more, which he had no experience for. The show also helped Aaron live his childhood dreams like being a park ranger and flying in a fighter jet. As of today, he is living his dream of being a car racer. And if you don't know, Kaufman also made his best finish in the 21st position. Did you know? Kaufman has already done Pikes Peak International Summit? Let us know more. Kaufman in Pikes Peak International For those who don't know what Pikes Peak International is, Pikes Peak is an annual automobile hill climb to the summit of Pikes Peak, located in Colorado with a distance of about 20 kilometers with 156 turners. The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is also called the Race to the Clouds. Aaron crossed the finish line in 14 minutes 5.792 seconds in his 1949 Ford F1 during the 100th running of the Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb, which was brought to you by Gran Turismo. Aaron really is living his dreams to his fullest, comment below on what Aaron should do now, besides what he has already done. While Aaron Kaufman is living the best days of his life, you might want to know about his fortunes. We have you covered. Aaron Kaufman's Net Worth as of 2022, Aaron has an estimated net worth of about $8 million. The hard-working Kaufman was able to collect much of his wealth from his role as a lead mechanic in one of the most famous garages, Gas Monkey Garage, and later from his own show, Shifting Gears. As he is also the business owner of Arclight Fabrication, he gets a good sum of cash from the export of F100 parts. Let us know if we missed anything. So folks, we have come to an end of the video, and thank you for sticking till the end, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Comment what you think about Kaufman, and share this video with your family and friends. Farewell until we meet in our next video.